Hi everybody, today I'm going to review a great app uh, called Viral. So basically this app is pretty much a YouTube replicate. Uh, it basically takes all the elements that YouTube has with the slide with the slide bar, with all, all the uh, uh, categories from YouTube, your history, channels, watch later, etc upload subscriptions favorite what to watch so it has all that it has the search but really what makes it really really different is the fact that you can one pop up a window and do whatever you want in the background or minimize the the, the YouTube video that's playing and completely have it running in the, in the background or even have the screen off and still have it running and that's great for uh, podcasts and music videos and just other stuff that you don't want you don't necessarily want to see the um, the video but you want to listen so let me demonstrate that to you so uh, here's uh, one video of mine now there's a couple of features here if you if you slide from the right, it will lower the volume. And if you slide from the left, it will change the brightness. And to show you that it still plays when the screen is off. She can't have regular flour like wheat flour and also she's So if I wanted to pop it out, I basically oops, I basically click on this pop pop out window. Let me lower the volume here. I'll lower the volume. But you can move it around. You can resize it to whatever size you want. You can even minimize it and it goes away and you can come back to it by clicking here and it will pop right back. You can also set on this side the resolution that it's going to use. If I wanted to make it full screen right now, I would have I would click right there and it would go back to full screen. If I wanted to bring it back to the app mode, I would click right there and it brought it back but full screen to the app mode. So I'll click right there and it will bring it back. So right click right there and I will bring it back to the YouTube app or the viral app now there's a lot of customization going on here you can go to the settings and change a lot a lot of stuff now let me warn you first if you have multiple sign-ins uh, through YouTube you will have to do a login via web I would suspect that 80% of the people would have to do this because of the you have to select the user that's actually using YouTube. That's because of the uh, Google Plus change. It's uh, very annoying. Uh, what other thing? Uh, there's a safe position of pop-up player. Overall, it's just great. You can add it to uh, watch later. You can straight up play it in pop-up mode right there. And I can go back and uh, it's going to play. Now, let me tell you what is the best thing about this. Suppose you watch a video in full screen. And you get a pop-up notification saying uh, you get something that just uh, overrides this. It will automatically switch to a pop-up mode and not stop your video. I think it's great, especially for those texting uh, apps that kind of pop up and kind of interrupt your video. Another great uh, reason to use this is uh, the ability to uh, just have it play like this on a little screen and you can still text and do whatever you want while it's playing. Really, really awesome. and. What I really like is the ability that I can choose the quality of the video. So for example, when I'm driving in my car and I really am not watching it, but you know, it's nice to kind of see references of, of what's playing, but I don't need the uh, highest resolution. I really need just the lowest resolution because I'm mostly listening. Then um, 
then you put it on the lowest setting and this way you save on data. Also it's accessible from the notification area. You can pause it and play it from there. And you can also do a, a loop for either a video or a playlist if I'm not mistaken. I haven't checked it with a playlist. So that's about it. I'm really really liking this so far. It's um, it's awesome. It's everything I wanted from the YouTube app <laughs> and more actually because I really like the way that the entire description of the video shows down here and you can easily thumb up, thumb, thumb down. You got the similar, you got the comments in those separate tabs. I, this is the way that it was before they upgraded uh, to the um, to the way where it's all staggered. I, I like these tabs way better. Also, uh, if you search for something and say search for for this, it comes with uh, uh, an ability to. Um, to filter my results. So I can filter by video, channels, playlist. I can uh, decide at what length of videos I'm looking at. I can also choose if I'm looking for relevance by the keyword or the publish date or the view count or the rating. And also I can uh, choose by features, H. HD, only HD, ones that have closed captioning, and 3D. So actually features doesn't do anything, it just removes. They should really have a check mark for the uh, for the other stuff. And, and then the last filter is at what period of time? Today, this week, this month. So they don't have this year, but uh, I usually when I search for something and I, need, I, and I need a relevant video, I search for this month. Alright, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please, please thumb up, subscribe, put in your comments. I would love to hear what, what you have to say about this app. And that's it. Have a great day and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.